On the evening hours of Monday, November 15th, Mission Control Houston gave the order for all crew members aboard the International Space Station to ingress the Soyuz and Dragon spacecraft. Why? Because of Russia's irresponsible decision, that's why. If you are not aware, Russia launched an anti-satellite missile which shot down an old Soviet satellite originally launched in the 1980s. The explosion created a cloud of thousands of fragments that could potentially endanger low Earth orbiting satellites as well as the International Space Station. This incident is similar to an event that occurred in 2015 in which a large piece of space junk came into the vicinity of the International Space Station and the crew had to head for the Soyuz capsules immediately in case of collision. But why would Russia do this you may be asking? Perhaps it's to prove to the rest of the world that they have the capability of shooting down any spy satellites. China and India have performed similar tests in 2007 and 2019. Statistics show that Russia had launched several anti-satellite missiles in the past, but this has been the very first time they had actually hit their target. Another question you might be asking yourself is, what are Russia's consequences? Well, to be honest, it's still unclear. NASA was outraged by the irresponsible actions taken by the country which not only put NASA's astronauts at risk, they also put their own cosmonauts at risk as well. In conclusion, to summarize everything that occurred on Monday, Russia sent rocket, rocket hit satellite, satellite go boom, boom makes space debris, space debris pass ISS, and NASA get angry. So let's hope the space debris problem gets solved in the near future because you know, we don't want a gravity situation on our hands now, do we? And in the unfortunate event, that the gravity situation does occur, let's just hope Sanders on the ISS at the time.